Hey guys, my name is John, and like last week, today, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk about a topic regarding part two,、uh, and it is about lying. Let's jump straight into it. Well, to start off, I'll be sharing a recent incident that happened around two weeks ago. It was I. It was then. That I found out my great aunt has passed away. To be honest, we were not that close since she lived in England and I live here in Vietnam. But we have always been keeping in touch with each other、uh, through video calling every once in a while. So we did have a special connection.、Um, anyways, on the day of her passing, I had a rather significant exam on English literature. So all my focus and attention was were poured into this, and due to the fact my parents decided not to inform me of her passing away、uh, beforehand, as to not interfere with my studies, and only told me that my auntie was fine because normally we would be calling each other at that time of the day. Only after the test did I find out.、Um, That my aunt has passed away, with them sitting me in the room and telling me the whole truth. Of course, I was devastated and I broke into tears right there and then. But after a good cry, I immediately hit、uh, upon myself that I should not be this sad、uh, and I should not be crying because, like, my great aunt would not want me to do this. Um, and she has lived a full and happy life, so she just wanted her children to be happy and cheerful as well. So I toughened up and prayed for her with my mom and sent our condolences to her family over in England. It's unfortunate that I couldn't attend her funeral last week due to the distance, but I will be looking forward to visiting her grave later this year. All in all, I hope that she will always be there in my heart and will always be blessing me in heaven. And that's it for this week. It's a rather sad topic to talk about, but I feel great that I have to share this with you guys, and I hope you do 